Dutch voice actor Q&A. Who's excited about that? How many of you here are uh, huge game addicts for Overwatch? Raise your hand. Last night, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I got back to my room about three o'clock. I don't even go to bed, I gotta get up early. I looked over at my PS4 and I was like, I can do about two more games. I can do two games before I go to bed. So yeah, so the, <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep myself pumped up and have a monster, cause as well, I am addicted as well. So we are all one, but enough about me. I'm gonna bring the people who you wanna hear talk up to this stage. You guys ready? Yeah! All right, I want you guys to keep that energy up cause these are some pretty cool cats up here. So first and foremost, one of my actual mains, I'm gonna bring her up to the stage. She is Mercy Lucy Paul! Hi! Thank you, thank you. It's whichever seat you want. Great. And next, another support character that I actually kind of fell in love with. I'm gonna go ahead and bring him up. Theodore Chin is who is in Yana! I was a lot better at, but I am terrible, so I just play him in scrimmage. So, <laughs> welcome to the stage, the one, the only, Matthew Mercer, who's McCree! Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you for having me. Are you guys having a lot of fun so far? Hopefully? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Do you guys get to play at all in Miami when you're here? Or is it just literally you come in for the con, work, leave, go? Which I'm like, what? It's not working. Oh no. Someone get Matt Mercer on, a mic. Oh. Please. Check, check, check. There we go. <laughs> ah. Yeah! Hey! There we go. So do you guys get to play at all, or is it one of those literally you come in, work to the con, and fly right back out to work? Theo went crazy last night. I I want to hear about this. <laughs> did? <laughs> I did. Yeah. Tell us how crazy you went. Well, actually, I uh, yeah I went with the VIP party. I think some of you might have been there. Yeah. It was nice uh, nice <laughs> hanging with you guys, and uh, yeah went back to the upstairs and got myself a little room service and. Yeah, that's I was, you know, yeah. kind of splurged a bit, you know. Damn. Yeah. That's play. Yeah, little, that's play. How yeah. do you do it? I, well, you know. How do you look so fresh? All, yeah, well. Yeah. It's tranquility. Well, it's, I'm a robot, so, it's like, you know. I'm actually a robot. But, you know. Okay, now we're done picking on Theo. <laughs> What's <laughs> Although I did, did miss doing some karaoke with you guys last night, though. That was sad. Oh, yeah. I think I just missed you. Oh, yeah, we, we did not do karaoke. Lucy does a great David Hasselhoff. Actually. It's true. It's... I've been looking for freedom. <laughs> I've been looking so long. You're welcome. There you go. There you go. Awesome. He's huge in Germany, if you know about it. Seven feet tall. Yeah. Really? Enormous. Enormous. All right, guys, this is a Q&A, so if you guys have any questions, line up behind this microphone, come on, come on up. If not, I'm just gonna kind of take over and just have personal conversations with him. So come on up. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, your questions answered. Gonna lower this a bit. Um, so I already see that Theo is a shock fit, which I'm very happy about. But Lucy and Matt, do you guys have a uh, team on the league that you're rooting for? I mean, Purely from a color scheme standpoint. <laughs> That's important. That's important. Which is was my first drive. I, I you can't beat the black and gold of the Korean team. I mean, like, I agree, I agree. that's kind of the I most agree. stylish. So uh, I'm kind of leaning that direction at the moment. But we'll see how things tra transfer forward. It's always safe. I agree with that. I'm sorry to say it's pretty stylish. And Moira, have you seen Moira? Oh yeah. Yeah, Man. amazing. It, like, their Moira, black, gold, amazing. Well, orange is my favorite color anyway, and, you know, but I am from San Francisco originally, so I gotta support my hometown. <laughs> so, shock the world! <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Hello again. Hello. Hello, hello. Um, if Overwatch were a, a Saturday morning cartoon instead of a video game, 
and it just went on the whole merchandise bandwagon, like cereal, toys, veggies, that sort of thing. What kind of merchandise would you want to see with your character on it? <laughs> or have your character interact like catchphrases or, or kung fu action or that sort of thing. <laughs> Zenyatta brand tennis ball. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I feel like there's a whole line of belt buckles waiting to work out in his favor. Or at the very least, a whole line of lifeguard gear, apparently. I think it would work well too. I don't know, like anything um, healing, like um, sleeping masks, neck pillows. <laughs> That's what I would go for. Yeah. Mer like Mercy Brand first aid kits. Exactly. Oh, you know what? I, you know what we do want? I want them to be like a really cheesy, horrible action figure line, like circa 1985. Yeah. It had a bunch of a bunch of giant vehicles that weren't anywhere in the cartoon, <laughs> and so each character has their own giant vehicle that doesn't work at all with their aesthetic. And like a giant gun with wheels from a Cree. You know, Zenyatta is just like a giant glowing orb. You put them in and push it along. <laughs> Like a, yeah, hamster ball. Yeah. Mercy's like a, a big, you know, I don't know. That also like transforms into EMT a EMT car that pulls up. You know. Be good. We're also Can you nerf it? We're also transforms. No! Oh. Ooh. You were too good, girl. You were too good. Shh. What's your favorite thing about the characters you voice at? Plus, can I give you guys a hug? Oh. Aww. Aww. Yes. If we do it, we have to preface that this does not mean everybody else gets a hug. <laughs> yeah. It's a one-time thing that only the first person that does it manages to win this. So, sure, you get a hug. Come get a hug. <laughs> but to answer your question, what's your favorite thing about your character? My favorite thing about my character is that she's a badass, yet she's yes. a vulnerable woman. Um, so she's three-dimensional, and she's, uh, yeah, she's a little bit of what I would like to be. Yeah, I think that she's so aspirational for me and, and uh, for other women. That's my favorite thing about her. <laughs> and giving hugs to fans, that's my favorite. You're welcome. <laughs> to our one and only winner of the stage <laughs> Congratulations. Initiative worked in your favor. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what I like about Zenyatta is, um, it's a little selfish, but uh, you know, most of the times in video games, you're just screaming your head off, and it's very kind of taxing work. But when I go in for a session for Zenyatta, it's very relaxing and very zen, and I actually, I enjoy that. I, I could use more of that in my life, so, so yeah, so I, I like that about him. He's very zen and peaceful. I think for me, I like that in a, in a game that very much is developed to have the, you know, the good guys and the bad guys, you know, the very kind of black and white contrast. McCree sits in that kind of gray area. He has like some darkness in his past. He's not quite sure he's ready to take on the full banner of heroism. Um, so he kind of fits in that morally gray area where you're not sure where he's going to go. And that, to me, that's, that's fun. It, it kind of builds tension and, and intrigue in his narrative. So I like that. There have been some uh, pretty great skins for each of your characters over the course of the game, like um, Winged Goddess or Cultist, especially recently. Yeah. Cultist is oh, yeah, it's, it's, the game. And, yeah, it's and whatever sick. McCree yeah. has, because honestly, I don't really know that much about his character. <laughs> it's all right, I know the high skill levels are a little intimidating. Oh. Yeah. That's why I play Junkrat. It's all good. So, um, so what sort of other themes would you like to see for uh, skins for each of your characters? I'd like a steampunk Mercy. Uh, I, I've said this a few times, and I'm just gonna keep saying it until it happens, but uh, I would love to see Major League Zenyatta, you know, just like you know, baseball Zenyatta. That'd, that'd be awesome. Wow. You know, just, yeah, right? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I, the one I wanted, they, they did for Halloween, the Van Helsing one. 
So I've seen that in the comic the year before, and I was like, is that gonna happen? No, okay. <laughs> and then it did, and I was like, yeah, oh my god. Um, I think, I don't know. I tend to enjoy a lot of the, the cheesier, like playful ones. Uh, that's why the lifeguard to me was so hilarious. Um, I'd almost want to see him go full, I don't know, kind of Axl Rose, like late oh, 80s metal, yes. like, oh, like jeans, bandana, you know, tear off vest. That would be awesome. You know, c c go with the cheesy America theme even further. <laughs> <laughs> November Slash. rain. Slash hat would be great. Yeah, oh, perfect. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey, when you guys were working on Overwatch doing the voices and stuff, did you foresee the kind of outreach this game would have? Lucy I knew. didn't. Yeah. <laughs> she knew from the beginning. No, I did not at all. I didn't. I remember my first session and Andrea, who's uh, the main director on the game, was like, do you realize how big this is going to be? And as an actor, you hear that a lot when you do stuff and you kind of <laughs> learn to go, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Um, and so that's what I kind of, I went, oh really? But in my head I was like, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but I was wrong, I guess, right? <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, Blizzard doesn't do anything small. Um, and I, I, I was fortunate enough to, to get to work on a World of Warcraft, uh, Mists of Pandaria. And uh, yeah, I just, um, I, I, I don't think, you know, even knowing that, it, I, yeah, I don't think any of us had any idea that it would turn into this phenomenon, but it's fantastic. <laughs> you guys got in right before they had revealed, like, the game. You were there back when it was still kind of black ops behind the scenes a little bit, yeah. right? Yeah. It's like me, yeah. uh, McCree didn't come in until they had already announced it at BlizzCon. So I remember being at BlizzCon watching the trailer when they first revealed it going, Oh, I want to be in this. <laughs> Oh man, and I went over to the art area and I saw like the lineup and they had McCree in the lineup and I was going through like, who could I play? None of these people. <laughs> I could do that guy. And then just quietly waited to see if the audition came in and then it did and I was like, I know what this is! Wow. And so even then, like I had a feeling it was gonna be big, but nowhere near on the scale that it is. You quietly waited? That's amazing. I was hoping it would come through. I would have been like, I want to think of Hello, please, baby. Quiet, quietly waited for me is, uh, uh, well, I'm being facetious. <laughs> you see, dreams do come true. That's that's the lesson of that story there. Right? <laughs> Can I just ask one quick question? Just one more? Really quick. Okay. Um, it's just from Matt. Did you um, use any Clint Eastwood movies as references when you were doing McCree? I mean, a lifetime of enjoying them, yeah. I mean, I, how could you not? With that... They're great films. Like, I love the Spaghetti Western. They're really good ones. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, I could, I mean, yeah. <laughs> to answer your question quickly, yeah. All right, thank you. Hi guys, uh, I, before I start, like, it's just, I'm amazed to see you guys. Uh, I love you guys, my friends love you guys, and I just feel really honored to, to see you guys. But, we love you too. Anyways, my question, all right? So there's been a lot of like changes and stuff with like the meta. What do you think about like the current health of the game and where your characters fit in with that? <laughs> Maybe Matt would be a, a qualified Matt? to answer that. Well, <laughs> care current characters at the table. Um, Zenyatta's been a slow burn for a long time since the game's launch, and recently watching people really destroy me repeatedly with him, uh, I think he's I think he's fine. <laughs> Uh, Mercy, uh, who's, I, I was a Mercy main as far as support for a very long time, and still I am. Uh, and, that, uh, and then Mercy's buff a number of months back became just godlike! And so uh, she had to be scaled back a little bit. I think maybe they may have gone a little too hard in some cases, but once again, that, that's how balances work. You, it's constantly trying to find it, trying to find the balance. That's part of game design. You're being perfect. You're being a little she too was loud. perfect! You're being a little too loud. <laughs> but yeah, uh, McCree thinks fine. <laughs> Which plan for me? Yeah. Cool. I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Well, you, you know, I think if anything, uh, Blizzard is so good at, like, they are listening to you guys, and they they're they're analyzing the gameplay, and they are, you know, they're doing everything possible to you know make it balanced and make it a fun 
you know, new experience every time. So, yeah, well, I'm, I, you know, I think you're in good hands. I mean, I think, I think everything's going to work out. <laughs> Might seem a little off sometimes, but yeah, they're going to get there. I would like to clarify, my statement about Mercy was because I was a Mercy main and was just frustrated at the rollback, like a lot of you. <laughs> I don't actually have any statement on whether or not it is <laughs> negative or positive thing. I just miss being able to fly in insta res. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Oh, Lucy, thank you earlier for the picture thing. Love you for that. Love you back. And one of these lovely gentlemen before me took my skin question, but I can prepare. <laughs> um, <laughs> if, if you could see your hero as a, in a different class, what would it be? Hours later. <laughs> Physics. How's that for a obtuse answer? Uh, I mean, maybe if he just, for McCurry, maybe Sniper, if he just like put his other arm up and went just, maybe I should aim a little bit. <laughs> Don't have a lot of, can't heal with this gun like Anna. He's like, I got you. Oh, oh. sorry about that. You put the gun down. Yeah, not a good support know. class, McCree. It's strange. I mean, I don't know. I'd say tank. <laughs> she has it in her, you know? Tank. Yeah, yeah. Ever trade with uh, Reinhardt's hammer? Yeah, exactly. Perfect. I'm already the David Hassel the real David Hasselhoff fan, so. <laughs> um, I guess Tignata is. He's really kind of a sniper, right? He's pretty good with those, uh, you know, so I could see maybe, yeah, just a little more precise orb sniping. <laughs> orb that sniping. Orb sniping? Mm. That you heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> All you guys need to make snipers and yada happen now. Let's do it. Show us how it's Thank you. Thank you. It's happening now. Whoa. Uh, hi, guys. Whoa. Hi. It's weird to hear myself on the mic. All right. Um, so I have one quick question, um, and maybe something else. But um, let's say Overwatch got, whoa, you guys are so huge. You guys got a live action movie. What actors would you want to play your characters? What? Uh, I would want to play my character. Yeah. <laughs> not you, not you. I'd have to get a boob job for it. <laughs> oh, well, no, no, no. Although Michael you Chu. Both. <laughs> Michael Chu says it's all armor, so maybe I could get that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe Charlize Theron? Ooh. Well, I guess we'd have to get a, like, is it, doesn't the Honda make a robot or something? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess he'd, he'd have to do it. Not a robot, right? just get a car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, like, no, that's what I like about Zenyatta, is if they do a live action, it, it could be me, you know, why not? You know, it's, it, I could fit into, I don't know, a, a robot. Outfit, I guess, you know. Great or, but, pitch. Yeah, but <laughs> really I guess if pitch. they had to get, uh, hey, Clooney, I think, you know, I, I think his, yeah, no, his voice is I, very soothing, I, I you know, I, I like the sound of his voice, so yeah. I would not soil McCree's masculine image with this. <laughs> um, but, uh, I mean, maybe, it's, maybe it's just years of X-Men films and he's about the right age, but I think Hugh Jackman would be a pretty yeah. good oh, yeah. Yeah. Also, um, the chops and he's just like, one. Hey. You know, <laughs> yeah. One quick thing. I know that I'm not allowed to get a hug, uh, give a hug, but can I perhaps get a handshake? <laughs> it's more official and professional. Oh no, the floodgates have opened. Yeah. Wow. yeah no. Welcome right, to guys. hell. Guys. Gotta love the loophole. Asking for stuff is gonna take forever. We're not gonna get through all the questions. Why don't you go by their tables later? And for now. Sure yeah. they'll be able to give you a handshake there. A psychic handshake. <laughs> or what about a high five? Like a, yeah, there you go. But no, seriously, go by their tables later. I'm sure you guys would be willing for handshakes. And Absolutely. There. Oh yeah, I'll be there. All right, well, Simon, so if you mean, I love you. Thank you for understanding. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hey, Sonic. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so I have a question. So Hurry how up. do you we guys? Go fast. Okay, yeah, I gotta go fast. <laughs> gotta go faster, faster. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, the, my question is, how you guys were able to voice act in Overwatch, and how do you like the Overwatch development team at Blizzard? They're amazing. Like, it, yes, amazing. Yeah, that's an easy. Yeah. Yeah, that's easy. Amazing. They're the best. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. 
How are we able to um, voice get, act? Voice act. Uh, I like your voice acting roles. We all um, have been actors or voice actors for a while, and then we either auditioned or they knew our work. I don't know. Did you have to audition? Yeah, I had to audition. Yeah, so we all auditioned for it, and then they listened to all the auditions, and then they pick one person, and we were lucky enough to be that person that they picked. So that's kind of the general breakdown of how that happened. Yeah. And the process of auditioning, especially for an ensemble cast, isn't necessarily a degree of who's best. Sometimes it's who fits within the rest of the tapestry of the, of the cast. You know, if two people are really good as different characters, but their sound is similar, you can't cast them both in the games, it can get confusing. So part of it is, you know, talent and experience, and part of it is sometimes luck that you get the opportunity to sound the best in that fit. So we were all very lucky that we were totally. part of that tapestry that worked well together. Yeah, you know, actually, about that, um, when the breakdowns came out, I, I actually read for not just Anyata, but Hanzo, too. And I remember seeing the artwork and thinking, oh, that guy looks cool. I don't know. I don't be Hanzo. Uh, but I think at the time, there weren't any Japanese. So it, it turned out fine, because I don't speak Japanese. And, and Paul does a fantastic job, you know. But uh, I, do, I, do, I did want to be Hanzo. <laughs> but I, I I'm very happy agree, as Anyata, in case. Anyone at Blizzard is listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I did have a uh, Lucio audition come through, and I went, nah. <laughs> I'm not even going to read for this. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> oh, let's break it down. How would you have done that? <laughs> let's break it down. <laughs> a very different vibe. It's more like the... <laughs> yeah. Smooth out. Oh, yeah, like that's... Barry White yeah. version. That's the ladies' <laughs> man, I think. Uh, that's... Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's break it down. <laughs> the EDM version? <laughs> Let's break it down. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get that job now. Yeah. Yeah. John, Johnny, sorry, Johnny, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I have a pretty easy question. Is there any other characters that you like playing besides your own characters in the game? Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> as a matter of fact. <laughs> um, I like to play D.Va. <laughs> and Zenyatta and McCree. <laughs> of course, yeah. I've played the game One Round of applause, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm a bit of a button masher, so it's it's not a good game. It's a junk rat for me. You know, I guess. I, well, I, I say this as a junk rat player. <laughs> but uh, I actually played uh, against uh, Josh Petersdorf, um, and we played as our respective characters, and as, that's not a good matchup, right? And uh, but Josh plays all the time. He's terrific, uh, and he plays as uh, Farah, and uh, I think, she, is she the only one who can fly, or? She definitely can fly. Oh. Uh, uh, or I guess now, yeah. <laughs> so, because of that, if I did play, I think I'd play as Farah. Zenyatta reigns from above. <laughs> that make you question what he's throwing. Um, uh, I, I, I felt like I had to get good with McCree, which by the way, good outfit, I like it. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty decent with him. He's still my main, but uh, I, I enjoy Mercy tremendously. Junkrat, uh, if I'm feeling more relaxed, and uh, and Farah actually. Farah is pretty good when I'm feeling like getting sniped out of the air repeatedly. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Justice. <laughs> Thank you. Hey guys, I just want to say first and foremost, thank you so much for your hard work in voicing these characters. Everybody loves this game here, I'm pretty sure, so just thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, and my question is, uh, can you think of a particular salty moment you've had in the game, and if possible, can you voice the character? So salt. There's a lot of salt in the game sometimes, and things are a little salty. Your face goes. 
Well, you know, I tell you, when I did play it, uh, I was shocked because, you know, Zenyatta floats, which I think is kind of like flying, but I was surprised how slow he is. <laughs> and uh, I guess I would say, why am I so slow? <laughs> I, I, I can't move fast. You're Zen. I get, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it makes sense. But the first kind of time I played, I played with um, Charlotte, who voices Diva, and her husband. <laughs> And I like couldn't walk straight. It was very difficult for me. And they just sat there going, walk forward, walk straight, walk. And I had like an anxiety attack. So that's the, the salty moment. Uh, the first time I played <laughs> with Diva. I had a lot. Um, I, have, I have a particular frustration with Widowmaker because she always knows where I am. I mean, it's part of her ability set, I know, but it's still frustrating. And McCree doesn't take a bullet to the head very well. And so, and for me, it's, it's a lot of build-up, it's a lot of build-up to get that ultimate going, you know? And it's, it's satisfying to just hear it come out. Even for me, even I'm not sick of it yet, but inevitably every time, it's high. <laughs> Which is even more funny since they released the, uh, the custom game modes, because now there's modes called like the highest noon ever. And it's all like super low gravity, nothing but McCree's full ultimates, and they're all just jumping in the air going, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. It's like the worst nightmare ever. It's fun, but it's like, I, I can't do more than five minutes before I have to go like meditate for a while. <laughs> Thank you guys. I actually have a, a salty moment. Zenyatta floats, right? How are you caught in Junkrat's trap? so mad, because I'm like, how am I caught in the trap? I should just float right above it. Right. So, yeah. there you go, there's my complaint, my formal complaint right there. All right, continue on. <laughs> it's not that he's floating, it's butt propulsion. It's a downward force that triggers it. Sure, I don't know. That's true, actually. Confirmed. Uh, hello. Uh, for each of your characters, what's your favorite ships for them? I think that shipping is a wonderful part of the fandom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, nice. As, you know, um, actually Neil Gaiman had a great thing he said recently about fandom shipping and says it's, it's, it's a chance for the fan to fill in the space between the narrative and make it their own. And no shipping is wrong, it's right for you as the person who is shipping and writing your fan fiction, being involved. Absolutely. I think it's a really great way to look at it. It's taking something you love and making a part of it your own. And so I think it's really cool. That being said, there's been a a lot of ships, and us confirming any, in any regard, even at a personal preference, is going to cause a war on Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we should be careful. So, who wants to answer first? <laughs> Zenyatta is all-embracing, so... Uh, uh, I mean, you did really, yeah, you know, he's... <laughs> Polyamorous Zenyatta confirmed here. <laughs> Zenyatta is a slut. Confirmed. <laughs> Experience tranquility. Oh, now we know what that means. It's just a pickup line, isn't it? Yeah, I agree with Matt, and um, you know, so what? I, I love all the ships. I support all the ships. I think it's awesome. So yeah. The pharmacy, right? Yes. I don't. Was? I speak no English more. I can't. I don't understand what you say. I think Mikanto's adorable. Next question. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Hi. Um, what was your guys' opinion on the entire alt change for Mercy from Resurrection to Valkyrie? Go ahead. Uh, um, I, think it, I think it was a great touch to kind of improve her viability and feeling more involved in the fray. You know, previously she felt very back row and... Hot, like she was hiding a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it gave her a little more of a heroic stance or at times she could pop forward and like be in it. Um, it kind of may, may, may have overreached a little bit, but that's part of the fun of introducing new elements to a game is, you know, you get to work with it and, to, and tweak it as you go. Um, I thought it was a great change. 
Yeah, I did too. I thought it just made her more active and um, I guess less annoying to some people. You know, a lot of people were, were, I had a lot of fans be like, so annoying, you know, you just come in and then... Um, so I think that's great that Blizzard listens to everybody and kind of tries to balance it out and make it make characters more active. And then when they see that um, one character is being picked too often or always being picked, it's great that they kind of you know make changes to make sure that everybody gets their fair fair time in a way, you know, and that no one's too powerful. So I think the changes are great. I think for you guys also, if things wouldn't change, you know, at some point you just get bored of it or you get kind of, um, yeah, sick of it. So I think it's, they, they're keeping you guys on your toes. And I think that's really cool, you know. So the same way that she's changing now, I think there's more changes ahead that, you know, maybe um, we'll scale it back a little bit. Who knows? But um you guys are always great with going with the flow, so I would just say keep doing it. Yeah, embrace the change. <laughs> Trust the internet's favorite father, Jim Cowan. <laughs> yeah. He will guide you. Um, could I ask, so I know that you especially, Matt, play a lot of Overwatch, but for each of you, have you ever had any weird moments like playing your character like, whoa, that's me? Constantly? I kind of don't... I, I see her as her. I don't really see it as me. You know, when, when I hear her... like It's like Mercy. Um, she become, she's become her own person to me. So when I hear it, I go, Oh, that's Mercy. I don't really feel like, Oh, that's me. You know? So I don't really have those moments. Well, what's nice about, well, one of the other nice things about Zenyatta is uh, you, usually when you, you do video games, you have to do a lot of, like, death screams and stuff. <laughs> and there isn't really that for Zenyatta. I mean, I guess, well, he does die, but, you know, it's... So, yeah, you know, that's always the weirdest part when you're in a video game and you hear yourself, like, oh, oh. <laughs> and uh, so you don't have that experience for Zenyatta. I that. Every time you're like, oh, mortality. That's what I'll sound like when I die. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Or you're like, that's how I did it? Oh. <laughs> I wish I would have gone, oh, instead of, oh. You know what's an interesting phenomenon that I've noticed? Since like some of us have begun playing the game on the, on the internet, are people going into games pretending to be us? Yes. That's surreal. That happens a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is surreal. You get tweeted like videos from people being like, hey, what's up, yeah. will you join us in the match? I'm like, that wasn't no. me, but that's a good impression. <laughs> Whoever that is did a good job. Good on you, buddy. <laughs> um, one last quick question, real quick. Um, do you do each of you have a favorite voice line that you've done? I like how barbaric. <laughs> I dreamt I was a butterfly. <laughs> and it's, it's, Cool. <laughs> Very cool. Oh man. Uh, I mean, I. I think because it has such a history with with Chris Metzen and the character, because uh, it was his, I guess it's his D and D paladin uh, used the line back in his old D and D game. And he told me this when we were recording it, but the line just this ain't gonna dispense itself. <laughs> that line originated with Chris Metzen's D and D character many many years ago, and so for me it felt like a really cool torch carrying for that, so that line means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you. Hi there. Hello. Hi. Um, so I'm an animation major, and as somebody who's trying to get into the entertainment industry out in California, and specifically um, animation and video games, is there anything that you can recommend to somebody trying to break into that? First and foremost, uh, if you have the opportunity, research any animators that work on games that you really admire what they do, and reach out to them for much more specific advice. Even if they can't you know, guide you in, because they get a lot of answers, they can at least give you an idea of the path that they took or people like them may have taken to get there. Um, also, cutting your teeth on projects in the interim, even if things don't, I mean, similar to the path of acting, you know, you have to kind of cut your, you know, get your chops and 
cut your teeth in projects, find what small independent projects you can work on with like-minded people, there are communities online where you can develop tests and build a good reel for it, especially if you're going to college for it. Um, there's a lot of great opportunities there to get a good reel and get some experience. Um, a lot of colleges might have some placement programs or at least have fairs so they can introduce you and you know help submit your work across the country. Um, there is no you know, proper route to there. There's many different ways to get there. And I have a lot of friends who, who uh, eventually got into that industry, but it was a lot of hard work. So yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a combination of talent and being prepared when the opportunity arises. So yeah. you just want to work hard and, and be always looking for opportunities. And then when you have the chance to show what you got, um, it's the best I can give. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's such great advice to reach out to people. A lot of times you'll be intimidated and you'll think, oh, why would they want to talk to me? And you'll, you'd be surprised. A lot of the very successful people, you know, um, have had to start from somewhere themselves. So they have the experience. And I've myself experienced that people are so generous. Actually, the more successful they are, the more generous they will be helping others and giving advice. And um, so, and even if you don't hear anything back, just know that, you know, some, you're planting little seeds, you know? And so just trust it, keep going. And, and what, I, what Matt said is so great, just look for opportunities wherever you are because there is no recipe on how to make it or um, just trust it and work hard and, and have it be about the path and not, you know, this um, image of what you want to be or what you think you should be, you know, just take it day by day and enjoy that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi guys. <laughs> so my question is, what is the funniest line that you guys have said amongst yourselves in your voices that you wish were in the game? <laughs> I know I, 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 I do this oh, all the time. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't Swear say word. them here. <laughs> 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 um, one that you could say me? <laughs> We have to be careful because also we don't we don't own these characters and we have to pay have to be respectful to not you know stomp on blizzards <laughs> proprietary uh, and stuff. So um, although I would say cupcakes never die would be a great that'd be fun. <laughs> I mean, for personal reasons, I'd love to put in the game. You know, how do you want to do this? I would love to have my own like personal catchphrase in there, but you know, um, funny things. <laughs> I, yeah, I'll just, they're all, the ones that run through my mind, I, I just can't, <laughs> I, I couldn't, um, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, well, all, all the things that I would have wanted yeah. dealt with the cultist skin, and then you put them in the game, so I'm really happy. That's true, that was, yeah, that was fun to get to do that, because, because honestly, you know, Zenyatta doesn't get much opportunity to kind of cut loose. Like that, you know, and that was cutting loose for him, just like experience oblivion. And I'm like, oh, oh. Yeah. but yeah, so that was fun. Awesome, cool. epic! Thank you guys. Awesome, thank Love you. Your hat. Thank you. <laughs> nice hat, definitely. Hey guys, um, hey. I have a question that's kind of relating more to your character and how you play them. So, what's your favorite ability that belongs to your character? I, I like, I mean, I, the, it's hard not to love the ultimates because they're just so huge yeah, exactly. and powerful and, you know, sometimes it gives you a catchphrase that haunts you to the end of your days. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. I really love it. Um, but I, I don't know, I love the, I love the, the McCree stun grenade because it has, not only is it frustrating when you get stunned, yeah. But some of his lines of like, oh there, just like seem seem super dickish because they're like too relaxed and like you know sit sit down kind of a feel and you're like oh like oh so that that one I think is just fun for the troll aspect of it. Um, I think the, the orb of discord, right? Because you know usually he's a healer, but also he can uh, you know do some damage, and I think that's that what makes him uh, kind of cool. You just want to be a sniper. I do. I do. <laughs> it's all, always <laughs> comes back to that. Murderous is <laughs> I don't know. I have to say the alt. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know it's a little boring, but that's my favorite. With the new mercy changes, I can understand. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see. <laughs>
there are a few things as, as frustrating than, than dying and then the kill cam, seeing Zenyatta like fully charging and then just releasing a torrent and you happen to be there, you're like, oh, Zenyatta, really? You got me? All right. That's a good one to put in the game. McCree, Zenyatta, really? Really? Dang it. Hi. Um, Hi. Okay. I had three questions I was going to ask, and two of them were already taken, so I'm going well, with Well, actually, we are running really low on time, so we only have time for really one question. I'm really, really yeah, sorry. I said but... two of them were already taken, so yeah. I'll uh, my last one. She got one. She got one. Okay. okay. Okay, so I wanted you all to say, in your characters' voices, one voice line that's not your characters, and none of anyone with you's characters. Uh, like, not Zenyatta McCree or Mercy. But, some, but another in your character character's in voice, game. yes. <laughs> so <laughs> Hack the planet. I think this is right. You can tell me if it's not. Everything's coming up exploding. <laughs> I just want to kill things. I just... <laughs> Hello, love. The Calvary's here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, hi. Hi. I have to stand on my toes for this. <laughs> um, so somebody took my question earlier about playing the game and hearing yourself. <laughs> yeah. So I have a follow-up question. Um, it's about like, like being satisfied with your work after you're done with it, like, how, how are you able to separate yourself from that instead of, like, trying to think constantly about how you, like, could improve yourself or something like that? For me, it's very hard not to constantly think about how I could improve myself, but meeting all of you guys and um, hearing that you guys are satisfied and love the work really helps quiet down those voices. But I think, I don't know, I can only speak for myself, I think that, um, yeah, it's, it's healthy to not sit back and go, oh yeah, I'm really, really good, you know? To be like, I can be better, I could do that better, I, I want to try something else next time, you know? Push yourself, I think that's important. As an actor, as an artist, or really as a person, it doesn't hurt to always be wanting to improve. What you can do to, to just make uh, a better artist, a better person, whatever comes to you uh, naturally. Um, but there's always going to be that, that voice of insecurity. So it's just learning how to separate that from the, the idea of wanting to get better. You know, it's supposed to be hard on you for not being where you want to be. Just consider the ways that you can be closer to what you want to be. Um, and specifically, I think when it comes to Overwatch, uh, it's trusting the people you work with. And at Blizzard, you know, they're dynamite. And, and Andrea, who does most of the voice directing, it, you just know, like, even if she, you know, gets what she wants, and you think, okay, then that's, that's good. You know, even though you might think, oh, I want to try it some other way or something. You know, you just have to trust that they're, you know, looking out for you and looking out for what's best for the game. And then you can just, you know, relax and just do your job. <laughs> All right. Great. Thank you. Thank that you. Really Great question. Hi. Hi. Hello. Well, hey. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I have a question um, concerning all of your characters, or if you can pick one character, would you consider putting them in a campaign of the indie? <laughs> Sorry guys, I think I'm dragging you into my world now. <laughs> Go ahead, Matt. If you could play a game of D&D, &D, uh -huh. which of the characters would, of Overwatch would you want to play in that game, I guess, is what you're asking. Dungeons and Dragons is a role-playing game where you uh, <laughs> use your imagination. I, I, I discovered like, yesterday. No, 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 I, I, no. I discovered yesterday that Lucy. When did you find out that she didn't know? Don't tell them that. She didn't know. Okay, that, if you're gonna tell, I'm gonna tell. Them. All right, there you go. <laughs> Theo is outing me. I only found out about five years ago. Is Luke Skywalker's? Oh, spoiler! Oh, yeah, yeah. So, sorry. Is that in case you, is anyone? You know, but. Spoiler, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and 
wasn't big in Germany, I guess. That's, yeah, that's, I grew up in New York. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't big in New York. It didn't reach uh, New York. Roadhog. And the Barbarian. <laughs> Roadhog is Barbarian. It's a good choice. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> so into it. Um... <laughs> Reinhardt? Yes. Seems like he would be, you know, capable and, uh, you know, against dragons and stuff, so, yeah. yeah. Reinhardt. Oh, man. Like the pressure's on for this one. <laughs> um, Lucio is a bard. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Thanks a lot, Matt. <laughs> those inspiring beats in the middle of a high fantasy world. Hey, how you guys doing? Um, I'm sorry because I'm really nervous right now. Where's the chocolate? Do I need to leave again? Um, just one quick question. This is gonna be annoying, I'm sorry, but on behalf of all the Genji mains, how do you guys feel whenever you hear, whenever you hear someone say, I need healing? Just, just out of curiosity. I feel great. <laughs> Especially when they come with chocolate. Awesome. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Not really. <laughs> There's always a, a soft spot in my robot heart for my protege. So, yes. <laughs> I love it. Aww. When I'm playing Mercy, it's frustrating. <laughs> when I'm not playing support, I laugh. <laughs> That's too bad, buddy. <laughs> Um, I have a question, but I also, I brought healing for everyone. Aw, thank you. Oh, Bandit. <laughs> I already gave that Genji healing. I feel like I really? need to go hurt myself now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, just save it for later in oh. case you get hurt later. So, uh, my question is, if you guys could pick one other character to play, like, so instead of you being McCree, you could pick anyone else to voice and be. Who would you be? I know you kind of already answered this. You said Hanzo earlier, but... Yeah, Reinhardt. <laughs> Reinhardt! <laughs> I was born to be Reinhardt. Uh, well, I guess other than Hanzo, I do... i uh been spending some time with Josh. And uh, he seems like to have a lot of fun. Uh, I think I, yeah, do a decent road hog. Yeah. Ready to go whole hog! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, just because I love that energy, if I could refine my Australian accent to be better, I'd love to be a freaking uh, junk rat. It would be amazing. So, <laughs> Explosions! You know, it'd be great to do that. But, um, um, if not Reaper, just because Grimdark, Lord Edge Boy is so much fun. <laughs> die, 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 die. Thank you. Also, I love Critical Role, so keep up the good work. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> good choice of campaign. Um, hi. Um, I'm a Junkrat's and Yana main, just. Ooh. Thank and, um, you. Thank my question is, is like, you know how all the characters have their themes, like Cowboy, McCree, Monk, Zenyatta, Trashman, Ro Junkrat? <laughs> um, what would you say, if you could swap your character's theme, what would you swap it to? <laughs> Cowgirl Mercy wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> I'd probably go with, like, Samurai McCree. Yeah. Because, I mean, the Spaghetti Western and the classic, you know, Samurai films, like the, the Mifune films, are very, very similar in their structure, style, and, like, tension building. So I think that'd be an easy transition. I think um, Zenyatta would be a, a pretty good DJ. <laughs> so, like, you know, like Lucio, yeah! but, you know, like it's, it kind of looks right. like Daft Punk already anyway. Yeah. And some rollerblades would be awesome. Yeah. That's so great. 
<laughs> Thank you. Hi, so um, after getting to know the characters and learning more about their role, what is the one line that you wish they could say that you would even go to Blizzard and beg them to let you say it? <laughs> Cupcakes never die. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, for the, the Nutcracker skin, I think, experience festivity. Yeah! It's, it's so, it's, you know, it, it just makes sense, you know, like, why wouldn't you say that? Dude? Mic drop. Yeah. Uh, for the, um, for the, the McCree lifeguard skin, it's high time. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Ziyad. Again. Well, I'm going to ask the same thing again. Like, would you like to say hi to Thai people, Thai community that play Overwatch? Sure, yeah. Like, How do you say hi in Thai? For well, the girl is Sawadika. Uh, <laughs> cool. Good to know. <laughs> good to know. You good? You good? Yeah, you good? Hello, everyone. It's hi, Thailand. Hello, Thailand. <laughs> I was just there for my honeymoon in Phuket, and it was Ooh. gorgeous, Ooh. and everyone was awesome. You guys are fantastic. Yeah, we want to meet all of you. Yes, and uh, please, experience tranquility. <laughs> yeah, please, do that. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, what type of skin, like, what's your favorite skin in Overwatch? I mean, besides the witch skin, I really like the Chinese New Year skin. I think that's really awesome. It was, for me, the witch mercy, and r until and it became a tie between cultists and Yada, and uh, the uh, dragon skin, almost like, like Deathwing style version of Symmetra. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That one's yeah. amazing. That one is so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, those are my two favorites. Yeah, I mean, cultist, um, well, just for Zenyatta, cultist, and then uh, the Nutcracker is pretty cool, too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Um, so is there anything maybe that's like community made that you guys have seen that you guys like, like fan art or maybe like a fan video that you guys may have seen that has like caught your attention and you're like, oh, oh cool. There, there was a live action Mercy short, did you guys see it? Oh, it's yeah. really like yeah. elaborate, it's really well done. The German in parts is a little <laughs> iffy, but um, but it's it's amazing and it's her backstory the way they imagine her backstory and that was really blew me away. Yeah, that's really great. You guys should check it out. Um, I, I've seen um, is it Sassy Zenyatta? The, the, oh. I've seen that. And, uh, it makes me a little jealous because like, he says things that you know I wish I, I could. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Like Zen and Shrek yeah. <laughs> I mean, tremendous amount of incredible fan art out yeah, there. There's just, just so much. It's, it's fantastic. And the talent is out of control. Yeah. yeah. And like, not just like drawings of characters, but like recently we've seen fan-made level designs and stuff that are just incredible. Like their own ideas that look like come out of the game. Um, but for me personally, I was recently made aware of an amazing animation someone did where it's McCree doing the entire uh, Napoleon Dynamite dance. Yeah. <laughs> yes. so that was pretty... Uh, Pretty fantastic. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Hi. 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 So I've been working at Starbucks for well over three years, and I've noticed that a lot of people have different personalities, and they tend to have a certain drink. Like, older white men tend to drink, like, black coffee. Wow. <laughs> Must be an older white man. Once you go black. <laughs> <laughs> I drink black coffee. <laughs> I hate to break the news to you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what do you personally feel that your character would all order at Starbucks? Do you have kombucha? Is that... <laughs> or, or chai tea, I guess, but yeah. We do have a tea called the Peach Tranquility. Yes. There you go, yeah. 
One peach tranquility, please. One venti peach tranquility. Two shots, one espresso, one whiskey. I don't know if Mercy would go to Starbucks because it's not healthy enough. <laughs> Girl, she totally would. Oh yeah, you want to come up here and say that to my face? Absolutely. <laughs> Called your bluff twice. Yeah. Something, not backing down. Something, uh, yeah, fruity and healthy. What do you have that's healthy? Well, we do have like a secret menu item that actually became so popular that a lot of uh, that actually got added to the official menu, and it's called the medicine ball. There you go. That's so, that's Mercy's drink, that's the medicine ball. Drink. It's uh, it's tea with steamed lemonade and honey. Do you think? Yes, that's perfect. perfect. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Secret menu. Mercy will just stay there to help everybody with diabetes as they walk out. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. So do a lot of members of my so family. So does my dad. My, yeah, my are grandmother. You, are you type one? My mom? grandmother had diabetes. My dad, too. Oh, yeah, there yeah. you go. No, my grandmother had diabetes. Uh-huh. Um, I was wondering, since some of you guys actually play the game, if you could kill off a character in the game, who would it be? Oh. <laughs> kill off? Yeah, kill off. Kill off? <laughs> Zenyatta is all embracing. <laughs> I would not wish. Mercy just wants to heal everybody. Whoever that prick is in the limousine in the Hollywood level that keeps complaining. <laughs> I'm gonna say it to my face. Well, I'm not paying you for your acting ability. Let's get moving. By the way, if you guys are playing Overwatch, if you're uh, if you're ever doing the level where the payload is the uh, the big old car that drives yeah. through the movie lot and the guy in the car is yelling at you. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Is that you? I'm that jerk. Nice. <laughs> That's me. He's most jerks in most games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it just comes well, naturally to some people. I really have to stretch to become a jerk. Yep. And not, in real life, I'm like a saint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the nicest person. Yeah. No, I'm an asshole. Do you have any more questions on that? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, guys, that was it. Thank you so, so much for answering everyone's questions and coming and hanging out with us. Thank you, guys. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, guys. Before you, so you guys leave, should we all do a group uh, selfie shot? So if you guys want to come up to the stage, we'll have you guys stand here. Hey, guys, we can't have you all come up to the stage. Girl, look at it.